Welcome to History Lesson 75. Today, we're going to start talking about two famous authors, John Greenleaf Whittier and Louisa May Alcott. Now, we heard uh, Greenleaf Whittier because Noah Webster married Rebecca Greenleaf Whittier. Now, before we begin, I want you to take a look at these words that you will see or hear in your reading. Flail, poetry, snowbound, editor, legislature, hymns, and at sundown. Now, do you have a favorite author? Maybe you have a favorite book series that you like to read. Most times those series are written by the same person known as the author. Now, have you ever wanted to write your own book or maybe books in a series? These two early American authors often wrote about what they knew best, their families. So John Greenleaf Whittier and Louisa May Alcott is who we are talking about. If you don't have your history book, Pause the video, grab your history book, and open up to page 207. Now that you have your history book open, you should be looking at the pictures of John Greenleaf Whittier and Louisa May Alcott. Take a look at their timeline of events as well. Now, as we begin to learn, we are going to first talk about John Greenleaf Whittier. Now, this was a man that worked in the field with his family instead of going to school. So he would work in the field using something called a flail. That was a tool that they would use on the ground in the farm. Now, as he was working, he stopped and he thought of a poem in his head. As he was thinking of that poem, his dad yelled out, John Greenleaf Whittier, there is work to do. So he went back to work. But then probably when he got home, he wrote down that poem and it went something like this. And must I always swing the flail and help to fill the mil milking pail? I wish to go away to school. I do not wish to be a fool. Now that was a rhyming poem. The he was a poet. So he was an author and he wrote poems. Now he continued to write poetry and he wrote what we know today, um, more, one of his more popular writings was a poem known as Snowbound. You can read Snowbound because it is in your book. Now, or you can read parts of it, which is in your book, to get an idea of what he was writing about. Remember, John Greenleaf Whittier was an author and they wrote, he wrote about what he knew best, which was his family. So, as you are reading parts of Snowbound, you will see what he went through as he was living and growing up with his family. Then you will um, continue to read in your book some other things that John Greenleaf Whittier had a part in that were kind of a big deal. John Greenleaf Whittier had different jobs. He wrote many articles about the ending of slavery. He also served on the Senate or the legislature to help end slavery and create new laws. And he also wrote a story or a book of poetry called At Sundown. And this was talking about what people believe in. Now, as you are finishing up here, um, I want you to read pages 207 all the way to 212 in your history books. Then look on Google Classroom for some questions based off of your reading, just to check your understanding. Happy studying.